This is not a Raspberry Pi. Four. But this is. Wait a minute, you might say now. Don't I have one, two, three, four USB ports with two times USB 3.0? Same like on the Raspberry Pi 4? Uh, yes, obviously. There is a RJ45 LAN connector. Same like on the Raspberry Pi 4. Let's turn it around. I got 40 pin GPIOs. Same like on the Raspberry Pi 4. Ui. That's different. On the Raspberry Pi, we have the this a camera connector. I'm not sure. Here we got this tiny connector. We have a power or reset button. And... Huh, what is that? Well, that's a connector for... How it's called? Damn it! MSATA for connecting a Wi-Fi card. Let's turn around. USB-C. Two of those micro HDMI ports. Mini, micro, whatever. Same like. The Raspberry Pi 4, audio jack, and no DSi, CSI, I'm not sure. Oh, and we have here a fan connector. Let's look on the back side. Micro SD. Here we have a connector for eMMC. What is lacking on the Raspberry Pi? On this beautiful baby here, and now I can, can say it. We got the Rockchip RK3588 with 16 gigabytes of RAM compared to the Raspberry Pi 4 which has the Broadcom whatever with 8 gigabytes of RAM. At least it should be 8. Uh, uh, I think, yeah, 8 gigabytes. What will be with 8 gigabytes? This one here has far superior power. For A75 and for A55 ARM cores, while the Raspberry Pi 4 has only four A72 ARM cores, clocked 1.8 GHz and here goes up to 2.2 or something like that. What we have here? We have the ROCK 5 model. A credit card sites on PC. I have also the Rock Model B, where you get a lot, a lot of operating systems for Android, Debian, Ubuntu, some community driven OSs like Reborn OS. Reborn OS is really nice. Okay, before you start complaining, one thing. Yes, I do not have a fan or a heatsink on the Rock 5 Model A. That not because I want this to perform badly or something like that. It's simply that I don't have an official cooling for this. And I refuse to use any unofficial things for the first test. I have to assume if they don't provide any official cooling like they do for the Rock 5 Model B. As you see, I have here the official fan. Assume it's designed the way it used without a fan, without a heatsink. And will have at least decent performance without overheating, hopefully. We will see. I will later put a heatsink on. Some uh, heatsink I got from a Raspberry Pi, but at first, as they don't provide one, I will see how good it do with simply the cooling from the air. I start with Android. First boot. Ah, hi there. Do I have a touch screen? No, I don't have a touch screen. There it is. Android. Let's have a look. Uh, you will see already the Android ISO is not Google Play Protect verified. Don't wonder. I, I use my trusty trackback, so it might be a little sketchy. Oh, I cannot use the Play Store. It's installed, but I can't use it. What a pity. Let's look at the settings. We have the Rock 5 Model A Android 12. A pretty annoying notification. No Bluetooth. Huh. For some reason, it not recognize the Wi-Fi wi Model A8. At least not for Bluetooth. Let's see if I turn it on. Oh, it works. Okay, turn it off again. Aha! Finishing my Raksa 5A. Let's finish it. Finish him! Oh, come on, I know it. Yeah, let's see. I think without... Oh, if... <laughs> Damn it! Whew, let's make a 4K test. Okay, Ultra HD. I mean, I have only a full HD video here, but... Birdie. Let's see how it does in 4K. Real HDA. HDR. Damn it. Let's turn on... Oh, I'm an advanced user. 4K. And this... Uh, where are the stats for nerds? Ah, here. Stats for nerds. Okay, let's go back to the fishies. Here we have the 720p and it's dead. Okay. We have 720p, 60 frames. 
There's no heat sink. Let's have a feel. Oh yeah. It's not warm at all. Oh yeah, a little warm. Hey. Um well <laughs> I mean <sighs> This is a RK uh, goodbye. RK 3855 3588S at 720p without a heatsink. We got already 36 dropped frames and it is loading to dead. I'm not happy with that. Maybe my internet is simply slow and that why YouTube doesn't work that good. But no, it cannot be my internet connection with 120 megabits on 30. YouTube should run fine. So it's not, it's not my internet connection what's blocking YouTube from working decent at least. So let's try again. YouTube. This is, this is not good. Nearly half, half of the frames are dropped. Let's, let's see if I go for, oh, so I have only 60 frames, okay. So, this is not a good result. Hmm. Okay, uh, YouTube is not working. Maybe, maybe Chrome works better. That's for now. Oh, for ATP. Let's have a look. For FTP and already two drops. Oh, come on! For FTP and two, three drops frames. So let's bump it up. Uh, 1080, why not? That's uh, not good for video. I mean, it seems like it works better on, N on, on the Chrome browser than in the YouTube app. <laughs> That's 4K, as you see here. Opala. See here we are at 4K 60 frames. In the Chrome browser it runs more smooth than on the YouTube app for some weird reason. Maybe, maybe Google is cracking down on all those unauthorized YouTube app users who are not capable to use Google Play. And this is, this is okay, I would say. 4K, 170, 70 frames dropped. Not amazing, but it's good enough. I think I, I will stop here now. Let's get a heatsink. I'm back with a fresh installment of Android 12. And let's put it in. And as you can see, I put heatsinks on. Here we go. Let's see how YouTube does with the heatsink. Oh, let's take this underwater beauty. What do we have? 720p. No drop frames. Ah, it seems like a heatsink makes a difference. That's that's already not that bad. Let's bump it up a little. Let's see for 1080. 1080p. Four drops frames. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe maybe on the first video the 60 frames was the issue. Let's go a little. Forward. Ah, ah, still six stop frames. It not goes up. Let's see if we go crazy with 4K stats for nerds. 4K, 30 frames. I mean, Looks good. I think it's because of the 30 frames and not the 60. Let's see if we go for 60 frames. So 720p, 60 frames. Zero dropped frames. That looks good. That looks, that looks promising. Let's go on. Full screen. Let's let's bump it up. 
1080p 60. This is already buffering. I mean, I changed the frame, ah, the resolution while it was buffering. I know. Let's restart it. This is real. 1080p 60. You can see it here. 1080p 60. Full screen. Maybe it's a heatsink. Because without the heatsink, 1080p 60, he did not run with zero drop framed. Huh. So scupper heatsink, even originally intended for the Raspberry Pi 4, it makes... Uh, so, here I like it. So... Okay, we are at <laughs> 360. So let's go to 720. That's what it should, should do. 720, 60 frames. And it is not working well. So you see it. It's 60 frames, it's struggling. 60 frames YouTube, no matter if with or without a heatsink. 60 frames video are not the... Even I would say in, in Chrome it, lock, it, it runs more smooth than in the app. He doesn't know what he's doing. Start tinkering without thinking. It's tin only, tin only, tin only, tin only. Set yourself Using free, with <laughs> no matter with what you mouse. come up with. However, well, uh, it, it, I think well, I think the, the lacking performance is because of...